In this chapter, we will learn about lines and angles, linear pair axiom, properties of triangle, terms and definitions, line segment. A line segment is a part of line with two end points. This line segment AB is denoted by AB bar. Ray. A ray is a part of line with one end point. Ray AB is denoted by the symbol collinear points. If three or more points lie on the same line, they are called collinear points. For example, in the figure below, points P, Q, R are collinear as they lie on the same line L. Non-collinear points. If three or more points do not lie on the same line, they are called non-collinear points. For example, in the above figure, P, Q, S or P, R, S or Q, S, R are non-collinear points. Terms and Definitions Intersecting Lines If two lines intersect or meet at a point, then they are called intersecting lines. For example, the line L and M are intersecting lines. Parallel Lines If two lines do not intersect, even if extended indefinitely, then they are parallel lines. For example, L1 and L2 are parallel lines. Concurrent Lines If three or more lines intersect at a point, they are called concurrent lines for example, in figures, line L1, L2 and L3 are concurrent as they intersect at point P. Perpendicular lines Two intersecting lines are called perpendicular lines if the angle between the lines is 90 degrees. If PQ is perpendicular to RS, we write it like this. Two intersecting lines form four angles if one of them is 90 degrees, then others are also 90 degrees. And if a line divides a line segments into two equal parts, then it is called perpendicular bisector. Have you ever observed the hands of a clock? The two hands are at different positions at different points of time as they move along the dial. The two hands represent two rays meeting at a point. When two rays have a common end point, they form an angle. The two rays forming an angle are called arms of the angle. The common end point is called the vertex of the angle. There are different types of angles. Let's learn them. An angle which is smaller than a right angle is called an acute angle. An angle which is bigger than a right angle is called an obtuse angle. When the revolving arm takes a half turn of the circular path, the angle so formed is called a straight angle. Have you noticed that the two rays are in opposite direction in a straight angle? An angle which is bigger than a straight angle is called a reflex angle. And a complete turn is called revolution. In one revolution, rays reaches its initial position. Adjacent angles Two angles are said to be adjacent angles if they have a common vertex, a common arm, and other arms lying on opposite sides of this common arm. Angles AOB and angles BOC are adjacent angles. Complementary angles. Two angles whose sum is 90 degree are called complementary angles and either is called the complement of the other. Supplementary angles. Two angles whose sum is 180 degree are called supplementary angles and either is called the supplement of the other. For example, angle AOC plus angle BOC is equal 
to 180 degree. So, angle AOC and angle BOC are supplementary angles. Linear pair. Two adjacent angles are set to form a linear pair of angles if their non-common arms are two opposite rays. Angle AOB and angle BOC are two adjacent angles whose non-common arms are the opposite rays OA and OC. So, angle AOB and angle BOC form a linear pair of angles. Vertically opposite angles. Any two angles that are formed by two intersecting lines and which are not adjacent are called vertically opposite angles. Angle AOD and angle BOC form one pair of vertically opposite angles and angles BOD and AOC form the other pair. Bisector of an angle. A ray OC is called the bisector of angle AOB if angle AOC equals to angle BOC. In this case, angle AOC equals to angle BOC equals half of angle AOB.